everybody, I'm just making this video to show you what I do during the day. Quite a few people ask me, what do you do? And I sort of say, uh, I don't really feel like talking about it. So um, if somebody does ask me what I do and I don't really feel like explaining it, I'll just send, tell them go go on YouTube and look up this video. So um, yeah, so this is what I do. Um, now these are screens and what has what I need to do is clean this stencil, this green stuff off them, so that they end up looking like that at the starting point. Well, that, that, that's still got a bit of a stain. Oh, well, I'll get to that. Anyway, um, now these screens, these are screens that, um, this is a screen printing factory, and these uh, have an ink put on them, but um, now the guys have actually cleaned the ink off. It's usually my job to clean it off, but they've cleaned most of it off. You can still see a little bit up here. The reason they cleaned it off is because this is the first day that I've come back after the Christmas break, so um, they can't let the ink sit on there all break, so they wiped it off with thinners. Um, so, um, yeah, so normally these would be covered in ink as well, and this is what I wash the ink and the stencil off, um, these things here. And what I do is I press this button. Oh, okay, it's not on, so. Press this button, and then we'll just go along here, and you'll see what's coming out. Yeah, there you go. You can see it there. That's that's what I use. I pick this thing up, hold it, and kind of just coat the screens and that stuff. Um, it's actually clear, but it, it kind of turns this colour once ink and stencil have gone into it. And what it does is it, is it softens and pretty much dissolves both the ink and the stencil. It's a mixture of um, solvent and stencil remover and water and so the um, solvent removes the ink, the stencil remover removes the stencil and obviously the water is just there because it is a concentrate and I so I scrub 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 with this brush, hold that with one hand, scrub that with the left hand and then that comes off and then what I do after that let's turn this off is I take them over here and I wind them up in this bay here you see where I the racks that I put them in and I use this beast of a thing. This is a water blaster and it's got a real kick. I mean, you know, it's really loud. I have to wear earplugs and earmuffs to block the sound out. And you know, it, it's got a real crook. You have to hold onto it tight, otherwise it's just And so I blast the stencil, well, I blast the, the crap off that, that kind of stencil, water, ink, um, stencil remover, um, solvent kind of, mixture that, that ends up being on it and then after that they get to this point and what I need to do then is I need to put this stuff on which is sodium hydroxide solution um, and I put that on when it gets to this state and then I blast it with that again and then it gets it nice and clean and ready to go and of course now these are these are small screens but this is this is some of the big screens let's see if I put my hand here I can show you just how Bigger, there's the four there, and that's how big my hand is to the four. And if you come back, you can see the whole, the size of it. You know, um, it's, they're pretty big. Yeah, if you remember, I have the size of my hand it's on that four. Um, and these things, oh, of course, these will be covered in ink, um, and I have to take the ink off these and the stencil off as well. And so I have to try. I have to get that in here, and you know, one one will fill up the whole bay. And it, and it gets about up to here, so you can see the line here, and I have to just reach up there and wash off and then move, maneuver that into there. And this is my bin where I put all the, um, the, the stuff that comes off here. And that, 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 gets, that gets put in there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's the room that I work in. It's not, not a great job. I've been here for 10 years. Um, it wasn't so bad when I first started, but after 10 years, I, I'm really kind of sick of it. I suppose, I, I, I've been here 10 years on and off, really. Um, I mean, I worked it for about three years, then I went and studied for three years. Um, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the, I'm supposed to look at that, aren't I? Then I went and studied for three years, but I was still working here part-time when I studied, so um, I was working one or two days a week, so I was here full-time three years, part-time for three years, and I came back for another couple of years. Six, seven, eight. No, I came back for another year. Then I went and found a job at another factory and I actually really liked working there, but 
I got made redundant along with about, I think six or seven other people got made redundant all on the same day, so I had to come back here, which I wasn't too happy about, and I've been here for about a year and a half since then. Um, and I'm really keen to get out of here, to be quite honest, but finding work isn't so easy, and, you know, I mean, a job is a job, but, you know, some jobs are more depressing than, than others, so you can just imagine coming in here every day for almost ten years, I mean, um, for, what, six years, really, um, and three years part-time, well, every day for six years, doing this every day, I'm in here by myself, I have to have this closed, the guys put the screens through here, so that's about as much contact as I have for them. They put through this gorilla here, and it's a very, it's a very, it is a depressing job. I mean, a, lot, a job's a job, but you know, I mean, you have to understand that. I think working in an office, or, <laughs> or um, I actually I worked for um, a rubbish company for a while, and I can tell you, running on the behind a truck is is um, less depressing than this. But yeah, that's just to show you what I do. Um, I have to wear quite a bit of gear. This, this kind of um, butcher's apron thing. Got a ma I got a mask I use. Uh, these are all the ones that I've completed. Um, you know, got this coat that I have to wear. These pants that I wear. There's gum boots as well. Earmuffs and earplugs. The earplugs are my choice because it's just too loud for me. Of course, gloves on my hands. I usually wear two pairs of gloves. I wear latex gloves and the big blue. I think those are latex gloves as well, but I wear two pairs of gloves. Um, so yeah, that's what I do for anybody who asks and I can't really be bothered explaining. Oh, I, uh, or screens. What do you mean by that? Oh, here, watch this video. So there you go.